Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. So, let's play some Europa Universalis 3 Divine Wind. I am going to play this game and learn as I go. So, I got a lot of positive feedback about this game. I should definitely play it. And, um, so yeah, the world's a little bit bigger than I thought in the previous video. Ha ha ha. I don't know anything, do I? Look at this. Oh my god, it's huge. There's Australia. There's, this is the whole world, apparently. Is there even Antarctica? Can we go down there? Hmm. I feel like the game is sorely missing some features. Lacking Antarctica. That's just silly. Right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play as, I think, England, actually. Um, it's kind of, it's I don't know, it says that it's an easy, you know, easy playthrough, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Here's what I did. Okay, so I got into the game, made that video. I watched, like, 15 minutes of uh, Shenra Let's Play, and I still have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to play anyway, because I just want to. I saw him do this, so I'm going to do that. Um, Lucky Nations, I he turned it off, so I'm going to turn it off, and then then uh, I, I don't know. We'll just do that. And uh, So here's what I propose, is that I'm going to play this game. I am not good at it. I have never played it before, and I want to gear myself up for Europa Universe House 4, so I wanted to like, kind of get a taste of this. And I think it's going to be a pretty good, like, launching point into that game. It's coming out in August, so it's coming up pretty quick. If you've never played this game before, then you'll get to kind of learn it with me as we go through it. If you have played it before, then this is excellent entertainment, because you can just laugh at me as I struggle to understand what I'm doing. But um, hopefully I pick it up pretty quick. So we're going to play as England. Oh, sweet! That's it. That seems like a pretty good Cassus Belli. Conquer Ireland. The Irish are capable of governing themselves. For the good of England and Ireland, we must give them sound government. Okay, sweet. So, here's the uh, the only caveat to it, is that, again, I've never played this game before, so I'm probably going to just, like, look at stuff for long periods of time, trying to understand what I'm doing, and I don't know what else to say. Uh, just, like, I'm, I'm learning this game the way that I learned Crusader Kings 2. I'm very good at that game, I would say, I think. But um, I did it by looking at everything. Like, I, I look in the game files, I look at everything, I press all the buttons, I click things, I just... I get all... I'm like ADD. Like, look, over there, a squirrel. I mean, look, Gwynedd. Gwynedd? Marchies? We're playing as... Uh, the reason I wanted to play as England is because I did the Northumbria playthrough. We've done a lot of English playthroughs in general. I'm English. And uh, England's supposed to be fairly simple or easy or something. Okay, let's build, a, let's build this stuff. How do you build a church? Each province in your empire raises the cost you pay to increase stability. A church will reduce this cost every month. The best province to build temples in are those high-value provinces away from your borders. Huh. Okay, so it uses resources. So we these people, apparently, are part of what limit our expansion ability? Is that how it works? I gain 1.3 magistrates per year. Due to being at peace, positive stability, feudal monarchy. Stability was what? This one? This one. This one? Where the hell's my stability score? That one? There it is. Your national stability is plus one. We are currently investing for stability level two. And with this funding, we expect to be finished. Well, who decided to fund that? Is it just... is it automatic? Yearly magistrates would go up by point two. Cool. Alright, so... That's neat. We have a fort. <laughs> we can play in a fort. Uh, local missionary chance, plus 0.4%. Supply limit, plus 0.5. Fort level, plus 1. What am I looking at again? This is Derby. Okay, so we're looking at Derby. Is that what that number is? Fort level is 1? Okay, so that thing gives us fort level. Garrison. I did see something about this. Apparently Garrison is like 1,000. Normal, I guess. We're Catholic, naturally, being English. And I understand that, of course, we don't have a dynasty. We're just playing as like this all all empowering eye or something and build manufactory. What if I click that? Should I click that right now? I'm gonna click it. I don't know if this is the right idea. Oh, never mind. Can't really buy anything. Cancel. Oh, and I did see one thing I definitely want to do as soon as I understand what the heck I'm doing is keyboard shortcuts. This game definitely needs keyboard shortcuts. I like listening to Shenra, he's got a really cool voice, but um, he was constantly clicking on the diplomacy, and he'd click, and then he'd click, and then he'd click, and then he'd click, and I just wanted to press Z and C and, and use keyboard shortcuts so badly, but I couldn't, because I wasn't playing the game. 
So we have 20, 22,000 people. Quantity versus quality. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to laugh every time I see that. Congratulations, you can change your slider. Okay, you have a free advisor slot. At one, at any one time, your realm can have up to three advisors to help shape your development. I want to play as an, I want to do economy. Like, I want to, I want to win through, through economy. What's this? Why is he green? What map mode am I on? Imperial. Okay, so what's that mean? He's a, he's an empire? Why is he green? Hmm. Terrain. Yep, yep, I know that one. Pretty familiar with terrain. Cool. So yep, it's QWERTY again. Q-W-E-R. Political is what we're used to playing on most of the time in Crusader Kings 2. Religion. Everyone is Catholic. It's to be expected. I don't really know what Imperial means. Trade. That is a lot of stuff. Wow. Kind of more like Victoria 2, where each county has a specific thing that it makes. Fish. Trading in cot. Cot? What's cot? Is that the name of the fish? Trading in cot. Cot must be some sort of a uh, an acronym for something that I don't understand. 33% of world supply gives mercenary maintenance. Delhi is the leading producer. Oh, cool. It shows my number two. We 3.7%. So we produce some cloth. What about fish? Do we have an advantage on fish? Norway. I did not know Norway was the leading producer of fish. That's fascinating. Iron. 9.1%. I'm actually pretty high on this one. But we're not we're not winning in anything specifically. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Diplomatic map mode. Okay, so what, are you my ally? We have a royal marriage. So that's not like the same thing as getting actually married, because we don't have a character, right? Probably just like a relationship boost or something. What's this? Is this my land? It's green. We are neutral towards them. Okay, so because we have positive... Relations? No, it's green. I mean, it's definitely green. Are they my vassal? We'll have to figure that out later. Region. Whatever. Culture. Let me guess. English. <laughs> Good. Sphere of influence. Oh god, I hated this, this feature in Victoria 2. I didn't really like it. I don't understand it. I'm not very good at Victoria 2 either. I am like I'm like a Crusader Kings 2 fanboy. I don't play that. That's all I play. What is this? This is the revolt map mode. Why are you guys gonna revolt? Holy crap. 19.91. Revolt risk is at 12%. I like how the water's green too. That makes me think that it's like nuclear radioactive. I don't know why. Okay, so revolt map mode is P, and uh, that's going to be a problem, I guess. Colonial? What do these little arrows mean? Effective distance 84, naval range. Sea zone of Azores. Supply ships reach... Is that 158? This sea zone has been recently patrolled, and we do not expect any pirates to come for at least 10 days. Okay, well that's neat. I guess green must mean like that's the, our effective range. That's how far we can go, or something. I'm, that's yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go with that. That's what that means. Must be economic. I like economy. Is this how much money we make? Income seven point two, nine point two. Okay, yep. That's that's annual income apparently, or some kind of income. And power fort level. What is everyone level one? Probably. It's the very start of the game. Oh, and totally un I just I should have said this like five minutes ago, but um, I got some comments about playing with a mod, but I I need to learn things from the ground up, and so I wanted to play vanilla first, and if we if we have time, then I'll, I'll look into a mod. But I need to like there's just already so much. It's been ten minutes. I haven't even started doing anything yet. Technology. This is a flat number. 
trade value. Supply limit. I'm guessing that's in thousands, probably. Is that right? Is there a number somewhere in here? Probably says it in here, doesn't it? Supply limit 16,000? I don't see how 3.3 .3 times 1.25 times 1 equals 16, but let's just go with it. We'll, we'll trust them to, to know how to do the math. Buildings. Okay, I've had enough of that. Okay. How do we play? What do we do? <laughs> I don't have any idea. Let's do this one. Okay, so we need a new advisor slot. Uh, we'll pick somebody. Do we have to buy them? So we pay. I'm guessing we pay 18 ducats, and then that much per month, and it gives production. Oh, did I unpause the game? Shit. Um, monthly stability investments, spy efficiency, land tech. Oh wow, there's tons of them. Let's pick the economy ones. So I guess they're kind of like, this is like how you specialize your, your place. Where's the one that means money? Stability? Is that what that is? What was this thing, right? Stability seems like a good thing. National tax modifier. Defense, merchant chance, more merchants, yeah. Stability, that's the one. And he's cheap, too. Oh, I can only have one artist. I'm sorry to have an artist. Oh. Jeffrey Chaucer. Well, that's disappointing. What about production tech? What is, what is that? Land tech. A highly ranked military veteran continuously investigating new inventions and tactics to improve and expand our existing army. That doesn't sound like technology. Trade efficiency. I can get this guy. Okay. Okay, whatever. Let's just pick him. Nine ducats. Sounds good. We'll get another one, too. I don't know if this is a good idea. Maybe you're only not supposed to do this. I'm going to do it anyway. Yearly army tradition. National manpower. Infamy. I have a feel. Whoa. Star. They have stars. Okay, so they're, apparently they're organized by ability. And I probably just hired, like, the shittiest guy ever. Um. I'm just gonna. Okay, we'll take that guy. He's. I mean, he's expensive, but. I don't know. What else are you gonna spend money on? Okay, my heir is Henry Lancaster. What does this stuff mean? Oh my god, I'm. Over oh, okay, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Okay, well, um, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to just unpause the game and see what happens. <laughs> what do we do with the diplomats? Oh my god, <laughs> it's terrifying. Clearly the best course of action is to play on a high speed. Okay. We are a feudal monarchy. Rulers reign until death. Years between policy changes. 11.6. Yeah, that looks like money. I remember, okay, so like this is like a, a very small list. We're allied with Portugal. We have a royal marriage with Portugal. Conquest, Casus Belli on Connacht, Leinster, Munster, and Tyrone. That's because of that, like, God told us to do it thing, right? A reconquest CB on Burgundy, France, and Ar Armagna. And the Hanseatic Trade League. Wow. Feels threatened by France. Golden Horde and the Mamluks. Has the mission conquer Ireland? Okay, how do I attack? Let's let's attack one of them. Do I have troops? What was it again? I have uh, I have a cast a spell on Leinster. Let's attack Leinster. Declare war. Stability effects minus two. No cast a spell. I. What are you talking about? We have been tasked with con. Yeah, I have that. I have a CB. Conquest twenty five percent infamy. See, this should be Z, and this should be C. I do. Okay, what happened? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> okay, I was told I should leave this open. Um, what? Our country is at war. Okay, we're at war with Leinster, so we did declare war. Sue for peace. Surrender. <laughs> we have a diplomat en route. He will arrive on 9 January 1400. 
Okay, so it takes him a month apparently. So we're at war. Where's the war score? Where's my... How do I know if I'm winning? What do spies do? Okay, well let's just like take the people and put them on Leinster. Okay, so I'm assuming we need boats. Do I not have boats? There's no straight? Okay. Hmm. Disputed succession. That's all kinds of stuff. Revolt's possible. I knew about that. Can change slider. Your current form of government is limiting this slider to a minimum value of zero. You can pass this value, but this will come at a great cost. So, our, like, our government kind of changes... Uh, Stability cost two, stability cost two. So I could spend stability to change to a despotic monarchy. And I guess like I'm supposed to decide if I like these other ones better. I'm assuming that the one we have is acceptable, but quality versus quantity. What does tradition mean? Accumulated army experience that your nation has. This will decrease by recruiting generals and will also decrease over time. Tradition is increased by ideas, buildings, and land combat and sieging. So the more offensive you are, I guess? Convert ruler to general. This will make a military commander out of your ruler. He will then be available to command your forces. It's far more likely to die. Negative effects like a regency council or cause your country to become a junior partner in a personal union. They will not see it as a positive sign. <laughs> okay. Alright, how do we get our men on ships? Where's the ship button? Build ship. Do I not have any ships? Is this mine? It's probably my ship right there. Right? No, it's not. Okay, so just because it's green doesn't mean it's mine. Apparently I've got to look at the flag. How come I don't start with ships? I'm England. England should have ships. Let's build a ship. I want a trade vessel. No, I want it like a transport. A big ship. It's going to take up 400 days. That's like a year. It's more than a year. Perhaps these are the the wrong counties to be building in since they're... yeah. Can I take it back? Do I get my money back when I do that? Good. Okay, I do. I think. National focus. How do I know how many national focuses I have? Okay. Local colonial growth, minimum, minimum revolt risk, minus two. Local revolt risk, minus two. I don't know, that seems like something you should use on a good county, not a bad one. Let's try... Let's look at, uh, like, economic. And then is there a way I can see, like, who makes the absolute most? Essex is at 12 point something. Oh, wow, that one's good. London. So if I make... This, oh, it's my current... Okay, so it's already set there. And I'd be moving it from here. Okay. Okay. So, I assume... What is this thing? Oh, I do have a navy. Boats. There's the boats. We have a boat named Peter. Is <laughs> that... Is that, is that how it works? Is that their name? Who named a boat Peter? <laughs> okay. Okay, well in that case, uh, don't don't walk. Um, go to the boats. Um, boats. Go there. Can they board the boats from land to sea? Or do I have to put them in the boats now? 